Hi right, guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. <clears throat> I am gonna do. She saw the beauty in the devil. Now, for my newbies. Okay, a very long time ago. <laughs> I'm like a very long time ago, long, long ago, like chapter one. Okay. We did a reading and figured out a lot of stuff. Um, I called the video, She Saw the Beauty and the Devil. Now, to my attention, I almost want to say like, this morning I'm just like sitting here and whatnot. I was actually on my way to get a coffee. I stopped by the lake. It's snowing in New England. And it just came to me. And Spirit's like, it's, it's kind of happening now too, right? She saw the beauty in the devil because the devil's been out and some people are, you know, seeing the beauty in the situation. So it's not just, ooh, look what's at the bottom of the deck when I originally picked it up. It was the Ace of uh, Swords. Um, when I originally, this is, I feel like I'm all over the place, which is, which is fine. Um, this is my wick from the other day. I was doing, um, I'm going to show you you guys' wick when it's said and done. But this was, this was just mine. I forget what I was doing. Um, oh, I feel like I should start over. The crazy thing, I, I knew, I just got it on the bed, um, I knew I was going to start off in chaos. I, originally, I was going to come on and be like, guys, chaos, like in the beginning, like, but then, you know me, for those who have been with me for a long time, no matter if I'm ready or not, if it's a chaotic start, it's a chaotic start. <laughs> I don't know what that's regarding, okay? But basically, what I'm trying to say is a trillion different things, because this is my original deck. These two, and a, a couple more. <clears throat> So I was pulled to do this one this morning because she saw the beauty in the devil. You could probably go back about a year and a half and find that read. Um, it was a big deal. Oh, you got wick on me. Regardless, it was a big deal. And then I was pulled to this one because it's, it's my original deck. So I don't know what that's regarding if you're dealing with the same person. Um, but to me... Because the devil's coming out, and the devil represents a lot of things, and it's not always negative. A lot of people just like, you know, just assume it's, you know, addiction, codependencies, toxicity, but it could be obsession, and 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 not to the point where it's it's too much. It just depends on what other cards come out with the reading, but temptation. Um, the devil can be an extremely good contact if you're dealing with anything that's a big deal that needs attention. The devil can be a very good advocate. It doesn't have to be negative, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> I'm going to put your candle there. I'm going to put your candle there. So, she saw the beauty in the devil. Now you can see my bed, but I want you to kind of see the candle too. And I just got wake on my bed. So, I feel like it's too much for you guys to, too much of a background if I do that. See? See? Chaos. It doesn't mean the reading's going to be chaos. Okay. Look at my nails. Don't don't look at my nails. <laughs> Freaking embarrassing. Anywho. She saw the beauty in the devil. So basically get up on that train. She always takes me on a train. The the person who made this deck. Um Kearns is her last name. I have another deck that I just purchased. That I'm still working on and it does not take me on a train she was in a total different mindset when she made this deck okay when she made this deck she was extremely depressed um, I don't know if it's really my business to say or not but <clears throat> she was but it's a beautiful deck okay she was 
she's gone through a lot in her life and you know she's you know some of the most beautiful love stories are, are written during times of depression or trying to figure out your life okay so no judgment there at all but when I use this deck it really does take me to her energy and this deck is powerful it was for me um I've had dreams where I'm sitting with her crisscross applesauce like I am now on a train and she's and she's teaching me the deck teaching me her way um I don't think it's necessarily a, a bad thing she just wants me to be in tune with her deck when I use it because other readers use this deck and they they use it completely different okay so everyone has their own connection to whatever they use use it for like I will say Natalie she always uses this deck from day one she still uses this deck but me and her don't interpret the same and, and that's just the way it is right that's the way it is so anywho I don't know why you guys needed that big six minutes and 17 seconds intro but you did so I really want my my crew that's been following me for a long time to look at this not as an old reading okay but if you were to go back to originally find the video of she saw the beauty and the devil which is probably about a year and a half ago if not a little longer um it might all make sense especially if you're dealing with the same person um i don't know if it was uploaded around this time or not i i want to say possibly winter but i'm not i'm not positive right so there might be a coincidence with timing that I feel the need to do this but normally throughout the year I think I've done like one or two tops updates on she saw the beauty and the devil and it was based on the original read now this is based on May 2020 okay just so you guys are fully aware even though it might relate to the original read it's the original story it really just depends on how you want to um interpret this okay and normally I would just clarify with this but for some reason once again I was I was pulled to the my original deck this was my original deck which one no, which one came first the rabbit or the hair aren't they both the same thing what's that tail which one came first I don't know which one did come first I think it was this one that was my original then from there, I think I grabbed the Wild Unknown. And then I did Romance Angels. Those were my first three original decks that I worked with for a good six months. Why? Basically, that's how I, I learned Tarot. Okay. My dad's listening to 50s or 60s music right now. Do fools fall in love? I don't know if you can hear it. Why I love you so? I love when he busts out the old music. It's, it's not fools fall in love. I don't want to open the door because if YouTube picks up on it, <clears throat> I don't want to copy strike. I love you. Yes, I do. He hardly ever puts on 50s. I think it's I think this is 60s though he's more classic rock I'm actually shocked he put that on so that's a message for someone six of cups in the moon happy new moon guys happy new moon so she saw the beauty and the devil and it's gonna be for May 2020 
I'm not going to read these reversed, but I will read these reversed. And you know what's weird? For those who have been following me for a long time, I always do reversals. But I haven't been. I don't know what that's regarding. I can still pick up on information, reversed or not, but... Anywho, let me do my thing and crawl into this deck. Some of you might not even recognize my reading when I crawl into this deck. Okay, she's... It just, it is what it is when I use this deck. I did just shut my eyes and see the butterfly, which is in the other deck. But there's a butterfly in this deck, too. It's a beautiful one with the six of wands. Anywho, she saw the beauty in the devil May 2020. I feel nervous. I feel like anxious, anxiety, panic. So if you feel that, don't worry. It will clear. It will clear. I don't know if this is a release video. I, I don't know. Whoa, you just had three major. Whoa, two more here. Here's the six of wands, so it was wrong. It must be the nine of wands with the butterfly. Okay. Um... I, I don't like five at a time at all, okay? But this is a separate message for somebody. Those colors mesh perfectly, okay? So you could have bruised someone's ego here, but something can be successful, but someone's having a hard time in that situation, okay? There is something karmic going on with this situation, okay? Um... And we'll just, we'll leave it at that because I don't want to dig into, dig into that. That's just a message for somebody. <clears throat> All right. She saw the beauty in the devil 2020. And <clears throat> again, too many. I don't know. I'm craving the water today. Not like drink water. Like I'm craving. Like I'll probably bundle up and go to the water. So I don't know if you guys are getting an urge. And before I start, <clears throat> I just saw a mushroom in the fire. So... Spiritual meaning of a mushroom. Associated with nature, the beauty of the forest, mushrooms symbolize good luck. Finding a mushroom is considered to be very luck and good fortune at hand. Okay. I didn't, there's mushrooms everywhere. I didn't know it was good luck to see a mushroom. <clears throat> so... And I was considering going to the forest today. That's where the water is. All right, so I don't know if that's a feeling that the collective's having right now, but that message of me seeing a mushroom <clears throat> in the fire was definitely for you guys. Look at that. Superstition Saturday. Mushroom. Supernatural speaking. A mushroom has superstitions, cultures. Some fear it. Okay? They're the origin of the stories, the symbolic meanings. But it could represent finances, too. But it is Saturday, so let's see what this is. Oh, this is a big story. This is a biblical story. If the mushroom is placed with onions, the onions will turn blue or brown. If it's placed with parsley, the parsley will turn yellow. When placed with milk, the milk will coagulate. I don't know what. what? I don't understand why. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get out of it. 
very angry. I mean, I had no idea there was so much stuff on mushrooms, superstitions, and Okay, let's just get out of that. What time is it? Almost 16 minutes in. Okay. Anywho. I, it's the cap of a mushroom I'm seeing. It's like oozing. I, I don't know what that's referencing. Okay, but <clears throat> Mother of Swords. Libra type energy. It's black and white. I don't know if you're feeling stuck or not. I like to think when the sword is down, it's truce-like energy, but at the same time, it's it's not quite clarity. Okay, so I don't know if this is speaking of. <sighs> See, I normally don't read like this. It's throwing me off. So, <sighs> I wonder if this is gonna bring me back to like you know how we were trying to figure out meanings of the original read. I know I, I touched base on that in the very beginning. <clears throat> so this reading I think is going to throw me off like the original one did until I, I put two and two together, which that doesn't make sense to me, but this is on spirit, it's not on me. So this is a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be Libra, okay? It's just speaking of the feminine. I feel like I might channel the dead in this reading. I don't know why. And then it just pulled me, I don't know why. Again, fools fall in love, but that wasn't the song, but I believe it was the same singer. So I might be channeling the dead, which would make sense because we are in the Scorpio full moon. Okay, so there's that. This could be somebody from a past life. Oh, damn, it's bringing me, it's bringing me in somewhere. Um, this might be a guide. I don't think it's you. This is... Okay, so this is strange because this reading is She Saw the Beauty and the Devil. <laughs> but you're getting a reading from the dead. I really hope no one interrupts this reading. This is like a family member. Or a guy that's been in the family for a long time. Because this isn't touching base on finances, it's, it's touching base on who's protecting you. I need to open the window because if I'm channeling the dead, I need an, an exit. Okay. Wow. I have, I don't know, I have all that stuff from the candle that I originally put over there and that's now in pieces on the bed. Okay. And I keep seeing, I keep seeing that mushroom. My armpits are sticky and they smell. That happened to me about a month and a half ago and I just put the oven on this morning. So I'm feeling the anxiety again.
but there's no need. Okay, so. My hands are a mess. My rings don't want to fit. I just had a really hard time putting those on, but I am. So this is a channel on the dead. Okay. I mean, I work with the dead, guys. This doesn't frighten me, okay? But I'm channeling someone's guide. So basically, this is, for those who have guides, this is someone who's been in your family. So this doesn't necessarily mean it's a grandmother or a great-grandmother, great-aunt. It, it, no, it just means it's a guide, someone who's been doing this job numerous times within the family. So I don't know if there's one guide in particular, because you can have massive amounts of guides. I, I have a lot of them, okay? Um, but I don't, this one has been around for you name it. I think last time someone left a legacy, and if you're unaware of that, it might be your turn to, to leave a legacy. What I was going to say is I don't know if guides stay with generation, 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 generation. I mean, apparently they do. But I don't think it's normal. I think, you know, when you pass, you you have choices. Or, I, I'm not sure. But I'm not sure how that works. It's almost like they want me to figure it out, but I don't think I'll ever be able to figure that out, okay? I don't think this is normal. I mean, it could be. I hope that makes sense to you. Like, I don't think guides stick around. Uh, there's some type of legend here. Like centuries and centuries, I mean, it goes way back. And it's the same guide. So, I don't know, say they were gone for a very long time <clears throat> and they and they just came back for you, for your generation. That's probably what it is. So you could even be dealing with like an ascended master. Because this is a big deal. <sighs> See, you never you never know what you're going to get with me in, in this deck. Like I said, totally didn't expect this. This is the one moon that throws me off. Out of every single moon in all the decks I have, every tarot reader has that one card, me as the moon. And you think it wouldn't be because I'm ruled by the moon. I'm a Cancer, right? But I, uh, Mingya, throws me the F off every time. It just brings me somewhere where it's like I can never get that clarity. Like, it's just that simple. It's mysterious. It's definitely leading you. You might even feel this person around you. Or they could come as an animal. Could come as an owl. It really just depends. A bird. I think if anything you would feel the energy, the warmth. Because I'm, I'm starting to feel the warmth. And it doesn't creep me out. I've told you that before. When it, it's, it's time for comfort with me when they're around me I feel the warmth it's like I'm being hugged sometimes it's it's overwhelming and other times it's totally cool but you can kind of hear it in my voice I'm trying to I still have this stress it is this isn't they're not causing this stress <clears throat> they're 
think you're just trying to figure things out. Shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, baby, let's work it on out. Work it on out. Now that we found it. That's from Dirty Dancing, which is based in the 70s. Or late 60s. So let me just tell you right now, this reading is not She Saw the Beauty and the Devil. Alrighty then. I mean, it can be, and this is just what you're going through. All I know is that this is a good thing. There's that anxiety. Got the Ace of Pents at the bottom of the deck. It's the Nine of Swords. But it was like instant relief when that just fuck when that fucker just came out. Instant. Instant relief. So they're shedding. They're shedding this. It's almost like I see like a snake even though those are worms. It's a shedding of the old skin. It's like the rise of the phoenix troops. This video is kind of like a push for you. I didn't see that coming. Totally didn't see that coming. I don't I think you guys might have just felt that too. Cause now this is speaking of the Scorpio moon. And a lot of other things, obviously. It's way more than just the full moon we just had, because that speaks of a, a new moon too. Eclipses, that type of stuff. So the lunar calendar, pretty much. So this release that just came out is is more from this woman. I don't know if her name begins with an L. Lucy, Linda... Lucinda is something. It's, it's a family name. <clears throat> Lucille, because Lucia Ball just came to me. Uh, so it, it's an L. I don't know what that's regarding. You could probably track it. So she's helping with this, and and she just did. Like she just took that from me. I don't I don't know what that's regarding. You guys had to have felt that. And if you're just feeling it, if I was saying it earlier and you weren't feeling it, and you're just feeling it now, 
there's something they want you to recognize, but at the same time, let it go. It's, me, it was more of a push. It was the way it happened versus... Versus whatever. I, I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> See, like, if you had a mom that passed, that's not her. She came back for your generation. She came back for you. And justice in the sun. Justine just came to me, too. I don't know what that's for, Gavin. And it's ironic because I was like an L for Libra, but that's, you know, could it, could she be a Libra? Very possible. She could be a Leo too. There's lots of L's rocking and rolling over here. Rocking and rolling. Barbaran, ba 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 There's something with that era. I don't know what that's regarding because she's not from that era. But obviously, whatever this is, it's being it's being guided. It's like <clears throat> clearing your path karmically. This is a big moon cycle for you. And it makes sense, right? Scorpio, rebirth, rise of the phoenix. But this is a big deal. And it's, this justice card represents, it's black and white, it's clear as day. And you got the white, which is like the rebirth, looking right at the sun, while the black is looking right at you. The black cat is like spirits with you. And the white cat represents rebirth. So my feminine, I think, are like in their Leo energy. But this is more seeing something clear as day. No, why is this on my screen? I just looked down exactly 333. Three, three. Mind, body, and soul. But I mean, that's the Holy Trinity, too. I mean, this is a big deal for you. So you're stepping into Dharma. Your path has been cleared. So try not to worry about your future. I know that seems so cliche. Some of you are going to leave a legacy. Some of you are going to give birth to a Libra or a Leo. I don't know what that's regarding. Or you got a lot of Libras in your family, a lot of Leos. Again, I don't quite know what that's regarding.
some of you it's definitely earth I, I don't know why it's telling us that so you got the mother of wands and the five of swords for the ten of pence there's that snake shedding it, it's protecting it's young you wouldn't mess with this mama protecting her family so she could actually be a fire sign Like I said, she's been protecting you and your family for a very long time. I don't know why the Five of Swords, you can't argue with her. Like, I don't think you would. I, I don't know if you guys are talking to this woman. Like, what the friggle sticks? But she's, okay, I just saw her. She's sitting in a, like a chair. I don't, it's an old, old rocker. It reminds me of like Little House on the Prairie rocker. Like, she, she looked dark though, very dark features. She's almost like rags. I hate to say it like that, but like poor, but rich. You know, like like a poor life. But back then, I mean, I don't know how much luxury was there, right? But like, like straight up little house on the prairie. So not. I don't know if you, that was like middle class then. I don't know. It, it, to me, it doesn't matter what class, what category. But it's... She sits in the dark. I know that sounds eerie, but it's not. Like, it's almost like she's, what I saw was like at night. Like, normally people would have a fire. Not outside, like, inside there'd be a fireplace, right? Because it's totally pulling me to Little House on the Prairie. And it's like she's sitting there rocking. Not in an eerie way. Like, contemplating her life. So I don't know if you're contemplating your life, not in a way of like suicide, I would hope not, okay? It just contemplating. Yeah, I mean, it is like a crossroads that makes sense because she's leading you somewhere. It is rebirth, Scorpio, new moon. So I think she didn't have a chance to do what you can do, and now it's your turn. And could it have been because of judgment? Possibly. So this is hereditary, like a gift. Very dark hair, long dark hair. Actually, she had light hair, so I guess I was just seeing the shadowing. I want to step out of that. Jesus fucking okay. What's with the Five of Swords? Some of you, I don't know if she was killed. I don't know how far back you can go in 
Okay. You're accessing your Akashic Records, but I don't know how far you can go back and, and track. <sighs> Jesus, what is this? There's like white all around her now. Okay, so she's a she's a beautiful soul. So don't worry about that. Okay. Um, step into that felt morbid. The fuck is that five of swords here for? Did I say four? I think I said five. I can't believe I'm doing this type of reading right now. Why is this five of swords here? I think it's blocking you. I, I, I honest, I know it's sitting with the moon, but I truly feel like it's definitely protection, right? But she's blocking you from something. Maybe you want to go in a route that's not good for you. It is, I hate to say it like this, but it's almost like there's free will, but you have no choice but to go in this direction. And, and I don't think, well, I know for a fact that's not negative, but I don't think you're feeling the Five of Swords. It is, it's more of like, it has to be done this generation. It's like sacrificial reasons. Like what the, what? Like, like you have to. It's it's probably in your akashic records. You agree to it. So you're not feeling that. But you might be feeling overall energy. Like this is someone's purpose. It includes your purpose. Like, she's going to make sure you get there, and you do. Or this could be as simple, it's not really simple, but this could be as simple as a family gift that you're ignoring, don't want to face. I mean, it really could be like that, too. But it's like a tool you have that should be utilized. Others of you, this is way more than that. It's, you know, it's like... You're going to leave a legacy. So you don't feel this. But you really can't get out of it either when it's you agree to it. I mean, you would have to just... It would drive you mentally apeshit. Like, you'd be crying next to a rock, can't get out. Like, you could possibly take your own life. This would cause massive disruption in your life where some people would even take their lives because they feel like they're going to eat shit but then you would your next life you'd be put in the same position in, until you did this I would think maybe not it might go to the next generation I, I don't know what that's regarding I don't know if you have mental illness in your family Regardless, you're not feeling the Five of Swords. If anything, you're feeling like it's a brand new you. You know what I mean? And they took the anxiety away. Because it's something that needs to be accomplished. So, so basically, your emotions, your thoughts, something cleared in the last few days. Like, they took it. Like, it's a gift. They took your anxiety, your, your, your fear. They, they took something from you that was kind of blocking. I think you're a little round up, coiled up. Like, there's... It, it's, it's straight on protection, though. Like, I think you're in feel-good energy, though. You know what I mean?
Yeah, see, I mean, you got protection all the way around. Now he's looking at her. Looking at this, like, it's, it's cleared karma, but it's something that that needs to be done. And that wanted to come out with the Ten of Cups. And the Hierophant. So, like I said, it's, it's being led for this foundation, which is right here with the Ace of Wands. Like, so I, I knew it was a good thing. So, I just hope that's the explanation. The moon, the moon, the moon is on fire. So maybe what it means by she saw the beauty and the devil has nothing to do with the person. It's the fear within you to move forward. It's your own, it's your own devil. Holy shit, that's like a little bit of an epiphany. So this is all about you, your own blockages and fears. It's the own devil. So this can go either way. Because it can come to temptation where you go the route of money, where you go the route of health, where you go the route of family. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's actually a big deal. Because like I said, the devil can represent a lot of things. Or will you let it overtake you? You know what I'm saying? It's a big deal. But this is the beauty of your own destiny, the own light and dark, black and white. But you're stepping into the light. Step into the light. So that's a message for you, like, step into the light. Yeah. Look at that, step into the light too. It's like, it's my favorite hermit card. This pain, see that there's something over here that's like, was like a blockage. But seeing the truth in something, and we see it here too. And it is literally stepping into your own, it's like, that's coilage to me too. But let the hermit overtake, let the hermit, let the inner wisdom, let, what does your soul want? You're going to be put in a position where you're definitely going to have to go within solitude. You might even um, seclude yourselves from a lot of people until you figure this out. Or this could just be somebody else that's helping. But I feel like it's it's you to get through. It is, it's you. It's like you're a devil. Because you have no choice but to go within, use your soul. What does your soul want? Where's your soul guiding you? Because when you get to places like this in life, it's like you can feel it, and that causes instant coilage within the chest. You know what I mean? It's it, That's what that is. Like That's you. You have to come out of your shell. It is time. You can't care what other people think. You can when it comes to, like, a personal thing. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is overall, though, like, you got to step out of your shell. That's exactly what this is. It's the devil within you, which in this case would, again, can take you either way. Temptation, fear, all aspects of the devil. But your soul knows, and you're being led. Choose the light. This could be like, you get an amazing job offer, but you know you should be doing something else, but somebody chooses money versus what their soul really wants. You know how many people do that? I got someone in my family, I love her to death, but she'll always, you know, she stays, I'll put it this way, she stays 
at her job because of money, but she hates it, and she's hated it for, like, over 20 years. Does nothing but complain, and you name it. It's almost like that whistle. Like, it's like I'm on point, you know what I mean? Like, let me shut my ringer off, but... And that was the dentist. So this this is hereditary. It's, it's linked to your, your teeth, your DNA. Okay, your Akashics, but I, I, we knew that, okay? But it's like that, staying somewhere that's not good, it's unhealthy. So it's, it's up to you what route you really want to go. But it's, it's all being cleared, okay? This is a, a, a free pass. Like they took anxiety, they, they took something from you that's going to help you accomplish something that is a major big deal. Like you obviously broke conditioning. But this is still going to reoccur. It's question, but the hermit represents a lot of stuff, but the hermit climbs to the mountain. The hermit uses its soul. The, the hermit knows what's best. You you know what route. So I, I think fear is going to kick in with whatever is presented. Because something's going to be presented. And it, it's not like boyfriend, girlfriend, job. This is, this is like big, big, big. A big deal. This is not like, am I going to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? And blah, 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 blah. No. 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 You could already have one of those, uh, a husband, a wife, like, and, and they could be a blockage because they're like, what are you, freaking crazy? Like, who are you? Or it could be family, like, that's extremely judgmental, that don't want you to go on run route, but they want you to. So you're breaking a whole bunch of cycles. I, I mean, this is a big deal. And it's, it's going down because it's like step into the light. And it's the mother of Pence. I'm assuming that's probably you. I'm not positive. But I am almost 100% positive that that's you. Masculine or feminine. What are you going to do? This is basically saying what's best for you. So this is a big deal. I'm almost seeing like a bear, koala bear, it's shifting. It almost reminds me of like, um, I'll read it in a minute, but... To me, it's a mouse. It, it reminds me of um, Mickey Mouse. A mouse signifies time. We need to take a closer look at your life, the details you might have missed. The meaning of a mouse is that it urges you to be conscious of your consequences and your actions. Okay, and that's it. That's kind of like everything I've kind of said in in a nutshell. You know, consequences. Like like I said, it's like the devil. Those those consequences. When I said to you, it's something that is meant for you to do, but judgmental reasons and those consequences. Free will, but there's always consequences to your free will if you don't do it. Cause your akashic records are here. Like you're being guided. Like this is a major deal, guys. It's not. It really tr truly is. And, you know, there's a picture of a, 
where did it just go? I don't know why there's a whale there, but I don't know if you can see a whale or, you know, but there's something. It's innocence. It's being seen, but it could be seen as dark magic, the symbol of something, the underworld, due to the connection of the ground. Well, this is, that totally speaks of Scorpio, the underground, okay? This is why this is happening now, for sure. Because this is a complete rebirth. So you're definitely connected to the underground too. Which is, we talked about, which is the dark and light. So don't, don't fucking panic. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Okay, it's not the, it's not a bad thing. It also says here, when the rodent is here in your vision, it simplifies that you will receive spiritual guidance for a new direction. Okay? It's the importance of what's happening right now. It could be a lot of enemies. It could be family. But you're unlocking amazing secrets and spiritual symbolisms, like I said. So this is, it's a big deal. It's life lessons. You need to adapt. It's modesty. It's, in, it's innocence. It's fertility. I saw that over here. It's being super aware of something. You know, just be aware of something down to the, the littlest detail. Because that straight up looked like Mickey Mouse to me. M-A-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E Mickey Mouse. Um... It almost looks like something else to me now. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, that's a pretty important message because when it was all said and done that's exactly what I had just told you guys okay so you're the hermit you can either nurture it or not but I'm telling you that there's going to be consequences like you're going to be put in a position where you're going to have to really choose what's best for you and I'm telling you I truly feel like Unfortunately, there's going to be people in your family that won't see eye to eye with this new direction. And if this is what's being told, you know, it's, it's coming. So, I just want to just saw something go by the screen briefly. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I don't know what it was. But, you know, you're being guided. definitely a big deal it's, it's basically overcoming your own fears judgment like some people might say like I passed this this XYZ but something's gonna be brought to your attention 
where you're going to be put in a position I mean, it could have possibly even be a job offer for some of you because I talked about that and people might not like what it is it's definitely spiritual and it's linked to your family so it's it's a gift within your family and people might judge you for a lot of things like I can hear like people saying like people won't understand that makes so no sense do you want to be known as like a loony, a loon, I don't know what that is, but like, yeah, see the chariot. You, you gotta push through, you're gonna be triumphant. It's, this is the card of success. I mean, and look at them with that, that pen. And this represents water. Okay, so. It's a card of success pushing through, being triumphant. Like, you can't mess with me if you wanted to. It's, whatever this is, is something. It's, it's an impact on other people's lives. In a good way, but on a negative sense, your family, your friends, you might be judged for it. Because this is the dark side blockages, obstacles, but if you nurture what's best for you, you're going to overcome and be extremely successful. You have the wisdom, the knowledge. It was given to you. It was passed down to you. It was meant for you. Three little birds on my doorstep saying, this is the message for you. I said, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right another card of success you hold the key this is your family it's family something this legacy i mean you could even end up being legendary in some type of field it's a big deal I'm going to clarify the sun and then we'll wrap this up. I don't know why I'm clarifying the sun, but I think it's the Leo within your chart, possibly. I'm not positive, but seeing. Step into the land. People might think you're a freaking wacko. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, like, whoa. And again, you see, you're the horse. I don't know what it's trying to say. Give me a minute. Basically, walk with your head held high for damn sure. If you're wallowing, get out of it. But you're also breaking conditioning here. No more five of cups. Well, this might be the energy around you. Some people are going to be extremely disappointed with your decision. Jesus. <sighs> it's 
It's like going to trigger them. So it's, it's not actually your energy, it's what people are going to think, feel. But you're going to bring light to a situation like this. This, this, this is well. You're going to have to push through that. People are not going to like your decision. I mean, some people will love your decision. It's, it's going to benefit masses for some for something. Or it's going to benefit your future children, your future family. You know, you're doing it for a higher purpose, higher reason. People are not going to be happy with your decision, whatever that is, guys. Tell me about the Five of Cups. It's not really telling me what it's regarding. It's more or less telling me how something might possibly go down. Yeah, but like I said, this is a, a total Scorpio, like I said. It's a rebirth. It's It's also the end of you feeling sad, but like, <sighs> it's definitely an ending of like your old life and stepping into a new one. It's, it's a, it's a big deal. <clears throat> and it's it's something you did in your past your past life and here comes the new opportunity and again you're going to be successful happiness you're going to have to change your perspective or other people or you'll be changing the perspective of a lot of other people. It's it's a lot. You're definitely going to feel the weight on your shoulders for a little while. But again... Nothing to worry about. That was reversed. So coming out of that, which we had over here, but it's 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 gonna weigh on you, like I said. But it, it's it's okay. I almost believe there's an owl. Look at that. Not a coincidence. An owl. An owl. Swords down right next to the arrow. I mean the swords down right next to the owl and this one too. Right next to it, right next to it. And then you got the moon going in the same exact direction. Not a coincidence. That was the biggest problem over here, too. <clears throat> the 
So whatever this is, you know, it's, it's going to give you anxiety. It is what it is. There's something, there's something sacred going on here. And, and this is a past life lover. So there's a big deal here. But this is linked. This is... I mean, you've done this in the past life, too. And possibly with someone. Now, this is pulling me back to my original She Saw the Beauty and the Devil because it was linked to a masculine, okay? So... Now this feels like someone has something to do with this. Because this is the outcome. And when I was saying this, I almost said to myself, like, Recording. Let me just sit here for a minute and just. I feel like this video should have been so much longer. So we're still recording. It did die on my end. This video just exhausted me, like exhausted me. I mean, look at me. Oh. Cause I was literally just saying to myself like, I don't know if you could hear it or not, but like, I got no bra on. <laughs> um, I was like, now I gotta do a part two, yada, yada, yada. So, I was basically saying like, now it's like you saw the beauty and the devil or whatever like now there's somebody else involved in the picture like the like the bottom line i was like it is facing your own devil right um But now, who's this person? Alright. I just feel like it complicates things. I was trying to do something that was less complicated. But apparently that's not a thing. So, <sighs> you 
you've had a past life with someone that's about to come into the picture. Like, I don't even understand how this just went from that to that. That's way too many. I wonder if people aren't going to like your choice. But then that tells me this person, okay, this is a big deal because now this is telling me this person is involved in you leaving a legacy. So I don't know if you're going to leave this legacy together, lead it together, if, like, Jesus, are you freaking, like, what a twist, what a fucking twist here. Like, this is, like, it's frustrating me, because why is there somebody else involved in your legacy? Some of you, this could just be who's going to be the children of your father, mother of your children. You're still breaking a massive cycle. But the first reading, <coughs> so much more importance. So remember that. Now this energy right here is like 3D. Well, it's... It is, but it's, it's more than that, too, because that this combo is you've had a past life with this person, and now you're about to do something together. I don't know if it's stressing you out. It's stressing them out. The family might not like the next lover. Like, there, there's something where it's like your family, their family, friends it's it's a big deal I feel like I'm reading too much into the future here they're like no tell me about the lovers well you definitely have something with someone I don't know if the feminine is, I'm not even going to say more spiritual because that wouldn't make sense. Because this person is going to be a big deal. Yep. There's a devil with a new star, hermit. There's everybody else that's going to interfere with what's next for you. Okay? Jesus. Are you fucking kidding me? There's, there's your devil seeing the beauty in the devil. Okay? This is, this is, this is fucking huge. This combo's huge. It's, it's, it's a bond you're not even going to be able to explain. People are not going to like this decision. They're not, I don't know 
if they're going to like this person. They might like the person, but not the decision. Because that's you deciding whether or not you're going to take this route. Well, obviously, the two of you together, right? But this is everybody else getting in the way of what you two are meant to create. And that's not going to be easy. Because this is your person. And this is you as the hermit. And the fool is the two of you taking a risk. And it's, it's a beautiful connection. I mean, it's... People will eventually see the bond you guys have. You know, um... But this is everybody else that's not going to be happy with the decision. So they will like the person, but they won't like the decision. Because you guys are about to build. And from a very solid foundation. When I see something like this, don't let anybody get in your way. Don't. I almost wanted to take this card and tear it. That that literally almost just happened. I almost just tore that card. So do not let anybody get in your way. For some of you, this person is part of the legacy, and they're part of it. It, is, it takes two. The, the, you get two minds together. I'm going to leave it at that because that was, that was a lot for me. I don't know if that was a lot for you, but that was a lot for me. I love you guys.